a note on kinship terms. That kinship is of critical importance if Pakistan is something on which all the academic experts agree, which is nice because they tend to agree on nothing else about the subject. For me, the definitive word was said 100 years ago by the great British civil servant and an ethnographer, Sir Denzel Abbotson. After an official career lasting decades in Punjab, he wrote, an old agnostic is said to have summed up his philosophy in the following words. The only thing I know is that I know nothing, and I'm not quite sure that I know that. His words express very exactly my own feelings regarding caste in Punjab. My experience is that it is almost impossible to make any statement, whatever regarding any of the caste we have to deal with. Absolutely true, though it may be for one part of the province, which shall not presently be contradicted with equal truth as regards the same people in some other district. Thus, the English term tribe can be translated into several different local words which overlap with other English meanings. Calm, can mean tribe, people, ethnicity, or even nation. Zat is related to the Indian word jati for a subcaste in Hinduism. Tribe can also mean several very different things in different parts of Pakistan. Among the Baloch tribes, not just in Balochistan but in Sindh and southern Punjab as well, a tribe means something like the old clans of Scotland, a tightly knit group under an autocratic chieftain. Among the Pathans, however, while tribal membership is a tremendously important marker of identity and status, the tribes are divided into endless rivalrous sub-tribes from which new leading men emerge in every generation. Meanwhile, in Punjab, the Rajputs, Jats, Gujars and others were presumably tightly knit nomadic tribes in the distant past, but long ago spread out and intermingled territorially across the whole of what is now northern India and Pakistan. The Gujars have given, given their name to a state in India, as well as a city in Pakistan, among many other places. Originally assimilated to the Hindu caste as Kshatriyas, the warrior caste, thanks to their conquest, mainly Jats, Gujars and Rajputs later converted to Islam or Sikhism. Within Pakistan, they have no collective overall political identity at all, but have a certain community of sentiment, including a strong sense of superiority to everyone else, a strong preference for marrying with each other. An appeal to fellow Rajput or Jat feeling may may gain some limited help when all else fails. More important in terms of loyalty and mobilization is the local sub-clan, as in, as in Chuhan, Rajput, Alipyal, Rajput, and so on. The Sayyids, the Qureshis are groups peculiar to Islam because ostensibly the descendants of the Prophet and his clan and therefore of Arab Arabic origin. Yet, yet the role and status in South Asian Muslim society has certain limited affinities to that of Brahmins in South Asian Hindu society. Meanwhile, other kinship groups are descended straight from lower caste of the Hindu system. These include the coming artisan service groups of the towns and villages and below them the old untouchables and the tribals who are so far down the system that no even bothers much if they are Muslim, Hindu or what, what most really are, pre-Hindu animist. As in India, these last are the most vulnerable in Pakistani, Pakistani society, liable to be preyed on economically and sexually by local dominant lineages and by the police. As to effective political roles within the kinship groups and in wider politics, this spreads outwards from the khandan, denoting something, denoting both the immediate family and the extended family. Often a joint family in which several brothers and their families live together under one roof, to the hellish concept invented for the confusion of the mankind brothery, related to the Indo-European root for brother, which is supposed to denote the descendants of one common male ancestor. Uh, to judge by my interviews, however, Baradri can be used to mean almost any kind of wider hereditary kinship link depending on, con depending on context. In this book, I have therefore used kinship group or kinship network rather than Baradri when speaking of such wider groups.